Hey y'all, real deal, why was it Akins? You know, our Apex Edition Jeep vehicles have been a truly a hit over the past two or three years. Really got a lot of steam going. It's allowed us to dive in and do some more risky items on it that uh, we know we'll sell, but just gives the sales staff confidence in our packages are working and now we can actually do things to broaden our horizons and show you the public some variations in how to make Jeep Gladiators the baddest possible. Let's go. So this stud right here, y'all, was actually uh, came from the minds of Walt McCart. Walt has been working with us for uh, several years now. He's a great guy, and we let Walt build this one. So this is Walt's take on, I guess, how he would want to see a Apex Edition Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. So Aikens Ford, uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Winder, Georgia. This thing's available for sale as of today. Today is the 4th of June, 2021 and what a build right here. So, you know, we've done several other uh, Apex editions on this same kit. This is the uh, Evo Manufacturing four and a half inch Defender kit with uh, Fox shocks. You got dual steering stabilizers, just a so phenomenal kit. One of the highest integrity kits available for the Jeep products today. And we've done many with 38s, 37s, 40s on this kit with typically a smaller wheel, uh, 17 or 18 specifically. So Walt said, let's do 38s on 22 by 12. So here we go, y'all. Uh, definitely a wild wheel and tire combination. So we got the, the Evo kit um, and the four and a half inch Defender height. You've got Fox shocks with remote resis. I love the way those mount up, looks so clean. You can see your rear links and uh, Brady brake lines. This kit uh, just screams uh, elegance and high integrity and just legitimate off-road capability. Raises in the back also. Our wheel and tire combo, we did 38, 13 and a half, 22 on the very popular fuel blitz in 22 by 12, the gloss black and milled, the trail grappler, is a phenomenal off-road tire, mud terrain tire, one of my top three favorite mud terrains ever. And then with the 12 wide wheel, you have a massive mild to wild scale on the far right wild side. So we're a good four and a half, five inches as far as how much this uh, setup sticks out. We got Fab Four bumpers, front and rear. We got radio, uh, rigid lights in the bumper. Love how we were able to maintain and utilize the factory rear tow hooks to keep the, the red theme going on from the Rubicon. But you know, you may say we're real deal. You're not gonna have much confidence off-roading with 22s. But we also know that a lot of our customers don't truly take them off-road. But if you do, I can assure you that like my Raptor has 37s on 22s. So this is 38s on 22s and I have no issue off-roading uh, and I off-road pretty aggressively, y'all, if you haven't not seen already. So uh, this is not the most ideal with the entire combo for off-roading, but let's be honest, you're gonna spend this kind of money on a vehicle you may or may not ever go off-road. If you do, you're still gonna be fine as long as you're not just trying to go uh, rock crawl, ginormous four or five inch height uh, obstacles. So anyway, y'all, up front, we've got a Fab Four bumper. Uh, I love the, the substantialness of this. And you know, a lot of them are the stubby style. I like how this one actually goes and covers um, all the way to the outer fenders. We got rigid D-series lights uh, on, on both of your outer portions. And we got a nice rigid light bar hidden ever so slightly, that center stack uh, looking just so clean. Great lighting at night. We got a Xeon 8,000 pound worn winch. Uh, I love the Rubicon. Uh, heat extractor hood that just looks phenomenal as well and a good look at the steering stabilizer we got Bilstein duels up front for added confidence uh, instability an Aikens liner in the back a little fab four action going on look at the stance from this side too so I mean it's just a gnarly aggressive overall stance um, as far as the offset the wheel size and the tire size 38s on this kit this is just a, a statement vehicle, y'all, and still off-road capable. So look at this. I mean, that's that's a I love that shot right there, y'all. Uh, a great combo. We know this one will sell fast. It being the Rubicon, it's got that sweet spot for for capability. Add the apex to it, and it's just truly next level. On the inside, how we're furnishing our lighting is a rough country. I love this. It takes up. Um, it just looks more 
gnarly. The best way I can say it, it just adds to that off-road theme of having your auxiliary switches up top. You also can still add the factory auxiliary switch in this uh, center slot right there, but you got heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel, so many convenience features as well. Everything is available in the Rubicon. You got your nice contrast stitching with the Rubicon inlay and just a, a phenomenal overall vehicle. So I feel like I've said phenomenal and amazing too many times in this video, y'all, but this truck truly is phenomenal. And with this wheel and tire combo, it may not be for you, it may not even be for me, but it's for somebody. And we know that if you're looking for that certain stance, we've got you covered here on the lot. We also have one with 40s on it with 17s, and then we've got plenty of Apexes on two inch kits with 35. So we've got everything from mild to wild, I almost forgot the window sticker y'all. So window sticker wise, pause here to see all the factory options. Comes in at 57,080 from the factory. Here's a good look at some of the factory options included uh, in this Gladiator Rubicon. And then here is our Apex Edition package. Lots of goodies, lots of value there. Um, 78,688 before discount. So as you know, everything in the world today is expensive. Everything is keeps elevating in price points, but here at Wild Ways at Aikens, we stick behind our foundation of we're gonna do quality components and not sacrifice anything to, to give the overall best value to you, the customer. So keep in mind, everything we use, we, we try to keep the price points in mind uh, just, just because of how expensive things are from the get-go, um, but just knowing that we need to put the right parts on these vehicles to um, you know, stay true to our DNA uh, at Wild Lizard Aikens, y'all. And we're always gonna stick to that and it'll, it'll end up paying off for us in the long run because building beautiful trucks is one part of it, but building beautiful, substantial, confident trucks is another part of it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and as always, peace out.